Welcome to our video solution to problem 6 from Super Quiz 3. Uh, this is one that maybe looks a little complicated at first, but is actually uh, very reasonable once you recall some facts about the Gaussian integer. So this problem is asking you to find a prime number in the integers, which is no longer prime when you think of it as a Gaussian integer. That is, you can't factor it over the integers, but when you go to the Gaussian integers, then there is a factorization. And when I say factorization, I mean a non-trivial one, one that doesn't involve uh, a unit. So uh, a very simple way to find examples here is to make the following observation. If you look at the sum of squares, a squared plus b squared, this is what we said was the norm of a plus bi, or if you like, the square of the distance of a plus bi from zero. And another way that you could write this down is a plus bi times a minus bi. So normally when you're working in the integers, you can't factor a sum of squares. But over the Gaussian integers, it is possible to factor a sum of squares as a product of two Gaussian integers. So how does that relate to our problem? Well, we're looking for additional factorizations of prime numbers that may not exist over the integers, but might exist over the Gaussian integers. So all we need to do is find a prime number that is a sum of squares. OK, fine. Well, sort of the easiest one I can think of is 5. So 5 is 1 squared plus 2 squared. And so we can write this as 1 plus 2i times 1 minus 2i. So we've now given an explicit factorization of the prime 5, right, prime in the integers, into a product of non-units, right? We know in the Gaussian integers, the only units are plus minus one and plus minus i. So these are non-units. So this is a factorization in zi. So therefore we conclude five is not prime in the Gaussian integers. Now, while I won't prove it here, what is actually even more true is if p in z is prime and p is congruent to 1 modulo 4, then p can be written as a sum of squares. All right, for some integers a and b, which tells you that p is not prime in the Gaussian integers. All right. Uh, it turns out if p is congruent to 3 modulo 4, then you will get primes even when uh, even when you're in the Gaussian integers. Of course, there's the one other missing case, which is when p is congruent to 2 modulo 4, which only happens when p equals 2. And I'll leave it to you to see if you can write 2 as a sum of squares.